Hey up everyone, it's Farmer Dale and... Farmer Dave. And uh, Dave's got a bit of an implement there, as you can see. Uh, we're going to be jabbing the tubs with their foot vaccination today, foot vax. It's a, a really, really important one for us. It's one we've been doing for quite a number of years now, and it improves the foot health massively, doesn't it, Dave? Yeah, but it's a dodgy, this is a dodgy vaccine, right? If you inject yourself with it, you can lose a finger. Yeah, it's right. not dodgy foot sheep, it's no, dodgy for us. It's dodgy for us, <laughs> but the benefits... Well, say so I don't want to lose a finger, but the benefits for the sheep are, are great. Yeah. It keeps them sound on the feet all summer, uh, so it's something we like to do. I'd say overall, Dave, it's probably probably basically solved any problems we've had with foot health, hasn't it? I mean, it if we might have had 50 sheep that might have bad feet before, we might have two now. Back in the day when, when Nigel first started here, um, we were turning sheep over, we were, we were trimming the feet, we were spraying them every... Like, probably four or five times uh, a month uh, yeah. it was it was a massive job yeah. um, you know so we, we invested in these sheep handling facilities uh, and uh, with modern technology and vaccines uh, you can do the job a lot better right well, let's crack on anyway we've got how many we've got about six or seven is it um, seven or eight perhaps eleven. Oh, eleven. Well, eleven. We'll eleven tups to do right Dave so what we're we doing right I'm gonna just inject it just be below the ear that's it. There you go. So that's that one done. So it's a fairly simple procedure, uh, but you have got to be really, really careful while you're doing it. So you can see Dave's making sure his hand's clear of the needle, going down the other direction. And uh, yeah, it's a really simple procedure, but it's a massive, massive deal for these tups. This could uh, potentially save the life in the long run. So uh, there's only one negative about this deal. It does cause a, a, a reaction. A yeah. Lump. Yeah, they get a little lump behind their ear that we have to keep an eye on just to make sure it doesn't get any problems or sort of get any infection or anything. But uh, it's, it's definitely worthwhile as anything. It's uh, it's like weighing up the positives and negatives. And we've found this to be really, really helpful. It's a positive. So Kerry Hilltop is next. Romeo. Romeo, Romeo. <laughs> so, Five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> <laughs> So we've got these lot to do, uh, we're going to crack on with them and then later on today we are going to be doing some of the use as well. Right guys, so there we go, all done and dusted. Tups are back out in the field, some lovely green grass here for them. And we can be somewhat rest assured that their feet health, uh, their foot health, sorry, is going to be is going to be top notch until we do the vaccine again. It's been so reliable for us and has given us such good results. I, I don't, can't even imagine working without it now. Obviously... When it comes to rams and tups, their foot health is even more important. These guys will be breeding again in the autumn time, and any problems that they would develop from now until then could affect, could affect their ability to, uh, to do the job and to serve the ewes. So, we are, uh, we are happy to have that job done. Right guys, so there you go. That's it from me, Farmer Dale, and... Farmer Dave. We're all done and dusted. We've done the tups, we've already done the ewes, so that's about 430 sheep, and I've already done all the lambs as well. So good job done really yeah yeah it's important and we working outdoors with the sheep when the lambs and ewes have already gone out to the field some people tend to think lambing's the busiest time and it, it probably is but over the summer months there's prolonged work outdoors making sure all the sheep are in tip top health so um, quite right too yeah so thanks very much for watching see you later and we'll see you soon bye -bye. i'll see you folks bye